Okay, so I know some of you guys are curious about how we're getting the inserts. So we're going to show you how to do the filter inserts today. And this is what they're coming like. So they are coming from a Kirby vacuum bag. You have that correct. We're looking for the micro particle arrest technology. So there's nine bags per each one. So when you get it, this is what it looks like. You're simply going to start by at both the top and bottom, you're gonna cut this off because it's glued. So we're not gonna be able to use that. So just a quick cut there. You can flip it over so you'll see the seam. And give yourself another quick cut here. Those pieces are gonna just be trash. Then right here beside the writing, see the writing, here you can see a seam. You can look inside and see the seam, but just as simply from the outside, you're just going to cut right there. Now you're making sure to only get this one layer so that we can open this up. Okay, so now we have an entire um, filtered bag open. Our next thing that we're going to do is simply cut this hole, where the hole is, out of it. We can't use that. We're gonna go as close to that as we can so that we can use more of the bag but it doesn't have to be exact. You can see we're just eyeballing it here. Okay. What we're trying to do is only touch on the orange or brown side. They come both colors. Um, we're trying to keep our hands out of the white as much as possible. So what we're gonna do next is we're going to open it up and refold it where our cut line is even with this edge. So again, just gonna kind of move it till you can do that. And get that underneath nice and flat too. Just takes a little bit of wiggling. And again, it doesn't have to be exact. You're just doing your very best. So, as you can see, now we've got this laid flat. This edge is next to this edge. So what we can do is simply cut these two pieces off. And we're going to put those to the side for just a second. And we'll come back to what we can do with those in just a minute. So what we're gonna do next is simply cut these two things apart on your edge so that you have two separate pieces. You can see that's not going as smoothly as I would like. Okay. Next, we are going to go this way across six by five and a half and this is about 18, so you're gonna get exactly three of these this way and two this way. So, however that makes sense. I'm gonna cut mine this way first, then I'm gonna slip this on top and finish them off. So, you'll see. Just go straight down this center fold that I've already got. Um, this has not done that before, but if it rips for you, you just tuck it back over. No problem. And put those on top of each other and then again you're just going to put your little cheat sheet or mark it or eyeball it whatever you want here so as you can see we did that that made 12 of these exact um, sizes that are similar that are the six by five and a half and then we've got these two other pieces so we're calling this another one. You can choose to cut it um, as close to that size as possible and it will still work. But then if you wanna cut, put a couple of these extras together as you go, that also works. Just to let you know if this is the type of um, bag that you got, those have nine bags in them. We're getting 13 from each bag. So that's 117 filters per pack like this. Now, if you add these little pieces together, you can get a couple of more out there and probably hit your 120 mark. But just an estimate, that's about how many you should be able to get out of each uh, vacuum pack of nine. So the way to put it in the mask is you're gonna take the mask, you're gonna open up the back side, so like that. And then you're simply going to take one of these off of their backing. You can see I did not quite cut that all the way through. 
So I'll just do that now. That's a single ply. I'm just going to, and you can even use this backing if you want to help tuck that in. Um, if you're trying to not touch it, or for this, I'm going to show you so you can see down in there better. So then you're just simply taking this and stuffing it in the other side. When this accordion opens up, it'll fit right in there very smoothly. And then as you can see, it just looks like a tissue up in there. You just take that and fold it. You take your pipe cleaner, you know, that's your top. And then you go ahead and put the mask on. So the filters, you just use those each time that you're needing to. Uh, we'll let the healthcare experts on that decide when that is. And then, of course, you can rewash the mask in between uses. So that is how you use the vacuum bags for the filter inserts.